Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will create a Spring Boot REST API with path variable. Well, sometime client sends a request and the URL contains a path variable. Well, in this lecture, I want to show you how to create a REST API that handles a path variable in a request. Okay, so basically Spring provides add path variable annotation to handle a path variables in a request URL. Alright, so let's go and let's create a Spring Boot REST API that handles a path variable in a request URL. So let me go to IntelliJ IDEA over here and go to student controller and here let me write the Spring Boot REST API that handles path variable in a request URL. So here let me write the comment Spring Boot REST API with path variable. Next, let's create a method and let's make that method as a REST API. So just type public and then let's give student as a return type of the method and let's give method name as student path variable. Alright, and let's pass student ID as a method parameter integer ID. Perfect. Next, let's return a new student. And let's pass this ID as a parameter and let's give first name as Ramesh and last name as Padathari. Perfect. So if you can notice here, we are passing this ID dynamically to this student. Okay, now we have created a, a method. Now let's make this method as a REST API by using Spring annotation. So here we are going to use add get mapping annotation to map incoming HTTP get request to this method. Next, let's configure the URL for this REST API within a double quote students slash within a curly braces student ID. Well, notice here the ID. So this ID is called URI template variable. Okay, for example, let me write the comment over here. So this ID is called URI template variable. All right. And sometimes client sends a request something like this. For example, let me copy paste over here and then let's pass the path variable one. So one is nothing but here student ID. And whenever client sends, you know, request with URL like this, then this one value will be stored in this URI template variable. Okay. Now we need to bind the value of this UI template variable into the method argument ID. So in order to bind the value from this UI template variable to this method argument, what we can do is we can use add path variable annotation. So let me use add path variable annotation. Okay, perfect. So whenever you want to bind a value of this URI template variable to method argument, then we have to use add path variable annotation. Okay. And sometimes we may give the method argument variable name something like this. For example, let's say student ID. Okay. And you can able to see here URI template variable name is ID, but the method argument name is student ID. Both are different, right? So in this case, what you can do is you can just pass a URI template variable name to this at path variable annotation. Then only we can able to bind the value of URI template variable into this student ID. Otherwise, it will give exception. Remember whenever you have the same variable name that is URI template variable name and method argument then you don't have to pass this ID. Okay. Otherwise you need to pass this URI template variable to bind a value from this URI template variable to method argument. Okay. Next you can pass this student ID over here. Alright. Great. Next let's go and let's run the Spring Boot application and let's see how this REST API works. So let me Stop the existing server. Let me start the Spring Boot application. And there we go. Our Spring Boot application is up and running. Next, let me copy this URL. Well, this is the get REST API. So we can access this REST API from the browser. So let's go to browser and let me paste this URL in a new tab and hit enter. And there we go. You can able to see the ID is dynamically assigned to this student ID. Okay. If I pass here to then this will give a response as a ID two. Okay. So this is how basically client sends a request with a URL like this. And this URL contains a path variable. 
and in order to get the value of this path variable we have to use add path variable annotation well we can also pass a multiple path variables in a url for example consider this is the url and here we have passed student id as a path variable next we can also pass student post name as a path variable as well as student you know last name as a path variable all right and next here we need to change the url along with id we need to also have a uri template variable that is first name post hyphen name and then similarly last hyphen name all right so this is the basically naming convention that typically we use whenever we have a variable that contains two words okay next in order to bind a value of these two template variables we have to use add path variable annotation so here let me first pass the method argument to this method string first name and then string last name okay next let's use add path variable annotation to bind the value of this URI template variable to this method argument and we need to pass this URI template variable name to this add path variable annotation okay perfect next let's do it for last name as well so let's use add path variable annotation and then within a braces just pass this URI template variable name okay and next let's remove this hard code and let's pass first name and let's also remove this hard code value and let's pass last name okay this is how we write a rest api to handle multiple path variables in a request url all right great next let's run our spring boot application and let's test this rest api so let me stop the existing server let me start the spring boot application all right and let's go to browser and here along with student id let's also pass first name and last name so let me give admin as a first name and administrator as a sec last name okay and hit enter and there we go you can able to see id1 first name admin last name administrator so let me pass some different values student id2 first name umesh last name padatare and there we go you can able to see we got a response and these values are updated in a response all right so this is how we create a spring boot rest api it handles a path variables in a request url all right great in next lecture we will see how to create a rest api that handles a query parameters in a request url all right great i will see you in the next lecture